Hey everyone, it's Chris here with Northern Board. Thank you so much for checking out my video for the latest of the uh, Hot Toys Star Wars figures. This one is MMS446, Ray Jedi Training, from Episode 8 of The Last Jedi. Excuse the breathlessness. Um, really got a massive bad cold, and you can tell with the throat as well on there. We'll muddle on as best we can. Hopefully you can hear what I'm saying okay. Let's dive straight in. So the first thing we're looking at, of course, is always the packaging. Very, very basic on here. Still seeing the shoebox, which is always a bonus on here. I do like the way it means you can get into a lot easier the poster peeling on the top there, end up damaging the cardboard itself. It's a good cardboard stock, as always, on there. It's just very, very boring. Every Star Wars figure that comes out is always the same. One difference, though, for this time round, if I flip it around, I need to sort out that turntable all I've got for. Here we go. Here's the back of it, instead of all the credits as you usually get. Get another little picture on the back there. It's a nice little touch. Um, when I first opened the box up, I wasn't expecting this. I actually thought somebody uh, had actually had this figure, open it up, and not close up properly and just put the uh, the sleeve on the top. But that isn't the case, which actually makes a little bit of a change. Um, but yeah, uh, I quite like it. Um, let's crack it open and let's see how everything's laid out. So, as per usual, we take off the front cover and you've got this nice little sort of inner sleeve type thing to protect it. Another another image of the figure itself. Um, it's not really that interesting to be fair, is it? Let's be fair, it's just there to, as a cover. So let's rip it off. As you can see, I've not even cracked her open yet. So this is all new, just uh, for you guys, it is for me. So what do we have here? So we have, um, we've got the box, which is great. Um, we've got a swooshy sabre blade. Sabre itself, we've got the blaster, we've got a staff, a set of batteries, I assume they're extra hand pegs. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five hands, six, seven hands. We've got the army, we've got another wrap for the LED blade. I suppose that's not a bad thing, to be fair. Um, not a huge amount in there, is it, to be fair? Um, what does look interesting, if you see here, that doesn't look like the usual hexagonal base. Oh, um, packaging-wise, all does on there, it's nothing new. Little addition on the, on the back has changed a little bit of the way they print it instead. It doesn't really change the world, does it, to be fair? It's not going to change the score that much either, to be fair. Usually give these three now, because I'm pretty, you know, pretty boxed down, but it does a good job. Three and a half, because it tried something a little bit new. Fair enough. Um, let's get her open. Let's have a proper look at her, shall we? Okay, so here we are with her out of the box on here. Um, she looks okay. I quite like it, to be fair. Um, a lot of people don't. Um, from the promo pictures, a lot of people said it didn't look like a Ray to me. Um... It's not bad, it's good. Um, I, 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 like, I quite like it. Um, we'll have a look at it in a minute with, on comparison to the previous Ray. Um, but it's more down to the... Uh, there's more of a steely expression to her in this sculpt, I think, really more than anything else. Um, a little bit... Almost a little bit leaner. Uh, it's about something that can concern you. Know, she did a lot of training in those whole five minutes that so she was on actor with Luke, so <laughs> there you go. Um... The paintwork, as always, on the head, absolutely gorgeous there. Um, the, the flesh tones are slight, mottling on the skin, as always, on there. It's just, it does a lot to convey um, the, the flesh tones on there. Really make, makes it nice and realistic on there. Um, <clears throat> on the whole, I quite like it. Again, you see more of Ray in different angles than you do just on a standard front-on shot, to be fair. Um, in hand, 20 times better. So I do like it quite a lot. Um... It's not the greatest sculpt I've ever seen out of them all. Um, for me, my favourite is still probably Tom Holland um, from the Deluxe Spider-Man Homecoming figure. Um, also, the the last video the, for, uh, for the Return of the Jedi Luke, that still blows me away, um, to be fair. What I do like, though, which is definitely deserves uh, special mention, is how we've got long hair, but it's sculpted rather than rooted. Um rooted hair, pain in the arse <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it again absolute pain in the arse on here this hair is below shoulder length and it doesn't do much to affect the uh, the articulation that we put on there which is always a bonus on there um, it's good, um, I've got absolutely no issue with that so they do get additional pointage for having sculpted hair rather than the uh, rather than going down the rooted hair look on there in whole, I would say for the for the head sculpt and the paintwork on there Definitely a four and a half, um, four and a half out of five for that. Such a very, very good job. 
the eyes always show so much life in there. It just makes it look really realistic. Whether it's dead on Daisy or not, that's for yourself to judge if you if you get it in hand. Uh, I'd say it's not always dead on, um, but the sort of memory and of of what Daisy looks like and what Daisy really looks like, and I think a lot of the times how I'm remembering her to be in the film isn't necessarily how she actually is. So it's probably closer than that to be fair. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's why she gets such a high score. It is still a really good job on there. Um, so let's now have a look at the costume a little bit on there. So again, God, there's, oh, do you know what? I hate those stupid armbands, bandages. It's like she stuck her hand in, stuck her arms in like some stinging nettles or something. Um, and then we've got this just this 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 long sort of X of fabric that's just wrapped round her. I'm going to go. You, you dress now and. And that's this bit I'm talking about, in case you're wondering. <laughs> right, so it goes up and around over a shoulder. Oh, let me uh, pan up. Uh, it goes around the shoulder, and then sort of down to there. And then there's another one that just goes around as a, as a loop, and it's just like, lazy. Uh, <laughs> um, then we go down, stand into trousers. And then we go into the boots on there. A little downside to these are, rather than having soft goods boots like... Um, you know any of the hand figures um the jedi luke uh, tarkin um these are actually quite hard um massive letdown in my opinion to be perfectly honest on there the one nice thing about them if i just lift her up is there's this sort of lacing detail on the back that will focus sort of <laughs> um which is pretty cool but again massive massive hit on the uh on the articulation there so uh, I'm not a huge fan of those, to be fair. It's a bit of a shame. Um, the costume itself, um, it looks great, dead on. Um, the issues I have with the uh, with the with the bandages, um, that's down to the costuming. That's nothing down to Hot Toys themselves. They're just they're just making it look like it didn't on the screen, to be fair. So that's fair enough for that. All in all, costume wise, um, it's a straight fall. Um, they take they take a bit of hit. Um, to be fair, um, the boots are really actually they look great, just like they do in the film. Um, the fact though they're not uh, as soft as plastic uh, means that they do hit the articulation to be for quite a fair bit. To be fair, in the ankle department. Um, but let's have a look at articulation now, because that is actually pretty bloody good. Um, so let's wrap up this bit. Let me show you some bits. <laughs> okay, so. There are no words for how dirty I feel right now. I know how much grief I'm going to get from a certain bunch of people as well. I'm going to hear about it. Uh, I know I am. Um, but it's a good example of the articulation that we've got for her. Uh, it's pretty bloody good, uh, in all fairness. Uh, let's get her out of this because it's doing my annoying. Let's just, uh, the fact you can bend her head down quite far, even in respect to the, uh, the neck articulation. Very good. Oops, I've just pulled the head off. Sorry, Ray. Let's put it back. Um, yes, the uh, the articulation is still good. We've got a massive range of motion on the knee there. Again, bugger all on the ankle. Um, we've got good range again. I can't really see any of this. I'm what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Um, got a good. Put that up. Good range on the uh, on the elbow there as well. Um, like I said, a good range on the knee there too. Um, so all in all, it's not too bad actually. The articulation is pretty good. Um, the only thing that really does suffer, as I've said, is the... Uh, oh, stand up, you silly man. There we go. <laughs> the only thing that really suffers is the ankle, to be fair. And that that's just one of those things, to be fair. Um, so articulation-wise, four and a half... Um, it will be a flat five if uh, if her ankles worked. I mean, that's not a problem. That's purely down to the articulation. But do you know what? It's my channel. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna double whammy her for for that, I'm gonna. So she gets half a mark knocked down on the uh, on the costume for, for the articulation damage and yeah, articulation as well. So yeah, flat four and a half on there as well. Um, so that's where we're at. Got so that. I I do like the articulation. It's gonna put get some really nice poses. Especially if you end up getting the episode eight uh, um, Kylo, for instance, or the episode eight Luke, which I'm getting. Uh, I've sort of passed on the Kylo this time around again. 
Um, I'm going to hold out, hopefully for, uh, see what episode 9 has to bring um, for that. But hopefully we'll get some decent decent designs on there. But yeah, anyway, uh, all in all, 4.5 for the articulation. I'm really impressed with that. A little bit of a letdown with the ankles though. So let's actually have a proper look at those bits that we saw when we first opened up the box. Have a look at the accessories. So here's all the accessories that come with Ray. Um, the first thing we've got, of course, is the base now. Base is a new one. Um, they normally go for the sequel trilogy. Um, they've been using the hexagonal um, bases. Uh, it's interesting that for The Last Jedi, they've moved away from the hexagonal base and gone to one of the more um, uh, Marvel bases. If I just reach over to Monsieur, Monsieur Parker, who's the nearest one to me. This is the uh, current Spidey base um, that you get for most Marvel at the moment. Um, so it's just interesting that they've, uh, for some reason, they've moved them all across. I, I can sort of get why they do it, because obviously you know, they want to sort of cut the cost where they can. And the first and easiest way to cut the cost is rather than having lots of different base shapes, they can do a bulk order for every single thing they release. Is all the same. The downside to that, though, is uh, instead of having that smaller hexagonal base, um, you've got this bigger footprint on here, which does actually take up a lot more space on there. Uh, also, what they've started doing is doing this alternate sort of cover as well. Uh, so for this one, um, is more of a I suppose that's supposed to be acto, I guess. To be fair, on there, um, so that just sits on top instead of the uh, thing. I prefer this. Uh, I like the way that, what you've got on here. If I move. These little sexy guys out of the way. Um, oh, and... Huh. Okay, I'll be getting some glue for that. You little shit. Okay, well, that's uh, that's half a mark knocked off right there, because that's falling off. Oh, better glue will sort that out, that's not an issue. Um, but yes, uh, if I go back down... Um, you've got the falcon on the top there, and a nice little sort of... Uh, shiny rebellion symbol. So I kind of like, I kind of like, kind of dig it. Um, I like how you got sort of Ray's face on there as well. Um, I don't like the fact that the bloody Ray things just come off. That's pissed me right off. <laughs> yeah, definitely losing half a mile for that. You little set of bastards. Um, <laughs> we also get as is uh, the thing. Anytime someone gets a saber, swooshy blade. So swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Um, of course, we also get the standard saber. The Saber holding arm, so the battery pack on there, and uh, we've got the bandages. Oh, god, I hate those bandages. <laughs> Where's that? Pair of fists, pair of saber grabbies, and then a trigger, trigger finger for the uh, for the blaster, which is fair enough on there. And we also get the blaster, which is quite nice. It's just gonna be a straight resculpt to the one that you get with Ray, I guess. To be fair, um, I'm having a nosy at that one. I'll come on, my cracker open for a bit. Um, the bit that makes it for me though. <laughs> Two pogs, these are great. <laughs> um, all of them. Easily, easily just as cool as uh, Baby Groot, I don't care what anyone says. If you don't if you don't agree with me, stick it up your bum. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, they're lovely. They're, they're spawn. Um, so, yeah, all in all, not a huge amount as always. A um, couple of bits you do get. I would have liked... Uh, what would I have liked... Do you know what? The fact I can't pitch anything else to go with her um, says to me they've done everything they can do. Um, would it, maybe it would have been nice um, to have uh, Luke's saber broken, maybe. That would be interesting. Uh, or maybe a couple of the uh, the Jedi texts. Um, would you have really done anything with them, though? Bit of a pointless accessory if you don't really do anything with it, do you? Um, no, do you know what? Um, there's not a lot else you could have really packed with her, to be fair. So fair play to her on that. On that, of course, you also get the little pegs, uh, the, the spare hand pegs. You also get the little like, spare studs for some of the costume, and spare and the batteries, of course, as well. I've just not put those out because I can't be asked. Uh, <laughs> so not a huge amount. Well, when we're sort of honest about it, what else would you've had with her? Um, she doesn't really actually have much more else. Much more else. She doesn't really have much else. Um, so I'm I'm, I'm all right with it. To be fair, I'm pretty good. Four and a half again. Um, it's not a huge amount. Like nothing that's blown me away. 
Um, but what what is there I do like. Um, would have been fantastic. Oh, I know we were going to knock off half a mark for that faceplate, weren't we? That nameplate even. So, four. So, still high. Still above average. So, it's still doing pretty respectably so far. We've got uh, straight four and a half across the board. It did lose that half a mark to the uh, to the costume uh, on there because the articulation hit. Um, the accessories are pretty good. Um, there's not a lot else you really put in. Extra bonus for the Porgs. Loses a bit for the uh, for the nameplate on there. So, um, that's where we're at. So, let's get this all... Uh, Pop back away, let's uh, get all this wrapped up, have that one final look at her, have some final thoughts. Okay, so here we are, uh, just with the uh, the Ray from Force Awakens, just on the left here of course. Um, I've chosen a stupid pose, haven't I really, because you know we can't see Ray's face at all. Come on woman, give me that say, but it's not yours anyway. There we go. Um, so, yeah, for me... The difference is that, yeah, this is a, the last Jedi Ray is a Ray that's, she's seen some shit. She's seen Han Solo get stabbed in front of her, um, murdered in front of her. This Ray, yeah, she's not quite as naive because she's obviously spent most of the time on her own scavenging, but um, she's not quite where she needs to be. So it's, this is, yeah, this is further down the line. You can sort of, it's almost like they've aged her a little bit. Think of... Uh, Difference for um, Tony Stark, Iron Man, right the way through to Iron Man 3 and in in Infinity War. Um, yeah, he's older. He's older, he's wiser. Um, this shouldn't be that much older, in fact, because if one cares on one from the other. But experience has changed someone. Um, to me, they're both good. They both look like Daisy. Um, still both really good job on there. I do prefer um, the Last Jedi version. Um, I've actually had to take my Force Awakens ray out of storage because um, I just ran out of space, to be fair. Um, so, um, will, will she be going back in the box? Yes, yeah, she will be going back in the box. Will the last Jedi ray be going back in the box? Hell no, I'm really impressed with them. The more I, I look at her, the more I've got them out, the happier I am with them, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, is she a keeper? Definitely a keeper. Um, I'll never say never. Because we don't know the costume design for uh, episode 9. It may be that we get another sort of thing with Luke. Um, farm boy Luke, Luke versus Jedi Knight Luke. No contest. I've got them both. <laughs> but um, I'd choose Jedi Knight Luke every day of the week. Because it just looks so bloody cool. Um, all in all, um, it's not... If you've got it, you know, you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to have it. If you're like me, then... You probably get it anyway. To be fair, uh, if you can find it for a great price, pick it up. Um, this, as always, was from James Irwin. Um, if you can track him down, track him down on any of the one six groups online. Uh, just ask for him. People, a lot of people know him. He's well, well respected, well thought of. Um, he will always be able to sort you out a decent price. Always looks after his guys. Looks after me. Um, it's God. He's taking so much of my money, <laughs> but it's well worth it. Um, Want to get a decent deal? Look him up. Um, just mention that um, I've sent you and he'll sort you out. Um, all in all, uh, absolutely fantastic figure. Done a great job on it. Uh, I'm impressed with it. More impressed with it in hand. Thank you for that, Ray. Um, <laughs> more impressed with it in hand than I was looking at the pre-order pictures, to be fair. So definitely going to be staying out on the shelf. I was um and ahhing about it, to be fair. I'll be honest. Um, I was talking with, uh, with uh, Matt. Uh, who was uh, part of the spectacular short round? Uh, if you guys have visited him, please do uh, give him a like and subscribe, give him a share as well. Uh, he does some great stuff. Uh, when we're talking about it, um, he he's not a massive fan of it, and I can sort of see why. Um, I sort of I wasn't too sure whether this was a keeper or a flip. Um, she's a keeper, definitely. I'm going to keep all this and see what happens with episode nine. So thank you so much for watching. This is about all we can sort of wrap up with on here. Please share, please subscribe. Um, plenty more coming up. I've got a massive backlog. I've got my uh, couple better later than never figures. I've got my Guardians of the Galaxy 2 uh, Rocket Deluxe figure. I've also got the uh, the Mark VI Iron Man that I recently recently picked up. That I need to sort of figure out and get some, get some time together. Get my finger out. Get some reviews done for those guys as well. Um, thank you for your time. Look after yourselves.
let's have a look and see what she's like. So, first thing as always is the box. What we've got here is a standard box on here, a standard shoe box, same as always. Oh, cat. Use the door. Come on in, come in. Right, try again. <laughs> 